Yeah, we're, we're, I've had coffee. We're live. You've I've had all had your coffees. Coffee. I've had I've had some uh, water and an English muffin. So, oh. well, you know I don't eat breakfast. So. Nobody should ever. And it, technically, if you don't eat breakfast, lunch is breakfast, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. It breaks your fast. Yep. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's see. Well, I'm going to assume. Well, let's do a, let's do a sound test. Can you can you give me the old one, two, three? One, two, three. Yeah, I think you're okay. If anyone oh, in the lag, <laughs> yeah, there's a total lag. If anyone in the audience um has any notices any sound issues or anything, we will do our best to fix it live. Uh, but we are going to be playing some of the awesome um, cohort eleven. What do they call this? Because it's not the thesis project. It's the Gabe. I think this is like a minute, like a full minute lag. That's not good. Can you hear me live though? Or are you just I can hear you live? Yes. Okay. But so I like I well, well, it'll be fun. Well, I've got what? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, kids. Okay. Um, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, so I can't. I can, I don't think I can help the lag, unfortunately. Yeah, um, I don't. I wonder what the I wonder what causes the lag. I mean, so so you you can I think you can go into the Twitch settings and adjust that so it is a shorter lag. Um, for if you're doing like just chatting, mm. or things more like less like render intensive. Um, but if we lower the lag and then play video games, they'll look <laughs> they'll look like garbage. It's yeah. it's you know maybe okay, I'll, I'll try to be rel <laughs> relative. I'll try to be. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> yeah, I think we're both going to try here. Um, we'll do our best. Um, but yeah, we're, what are so what are these called? These are the pre pre thesis projects, right? They are projects one. I like know, the but but there should be a semester. name for it. I don't know what we call we should them. we should come up with a name. I wonder what the I wonder what everyone thinks that it should be named. Practice. These are called practice. <laughs> It's almost like, yeah, it's the one set one semester projects to go through a whole so that going through a full dev cycle uh, a little more rapidly. So for those who aren't familiar with the U of U, of U, of U program, these are the graduate students who prior to this semester went through a rapid prototyping class. And so in that class, they're making a game every two weeks. So super rapid, super intense, very meat grinder. Like they're just they're just blasting through these projects. And so before the before the final year of the graduate uh, courses, they they do this one project class. So we slow it down a little bit, but one semester still is not very much time. So it's 16 weeks to make a game as a team of six or seven. And uh, so these are the one semester projects. Next year they'll be going and doing their their full uh, two semester one year project. But the benefit of that is, and we started doing this a few years ago, and I think a lot of our students don't know this, that that going through this one semester project actually gives a lot of experience that the, the previous um, groups going through this didn't have. And so they are primed. They've learned a lot of mistakes. They've kind of learned what not to do and what to do. So so these are the these are those games, right? So uh Without further ado, we should just start playing instead of talking. But we're gonna play. We're gonna play uh, a little game called Rekindle. It was just recently renamed. Um, I don't know. Are any of the uh, Rekindle developers here? Yes. Yeah, we are here. All right. Okay. So, they're so they're sleepy, you, but they're here. They're sleepy. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the, for those that don't know, the Rekindle team is uh, on the other side of the globe right now. So, what time is it for you? For most of you. On the rekindle um, team, was, um, midnight. Yeah, yeah. So just after midnight. So that's why we're playing rekindled first, so that that team can can get some rest. And it's a weird, it's a weird time we live in, where you you Thank have you. to go to class at midnight. Okay, so we're gonna check out. It's still called Connect, in no. the the Unity file is. It is. Oh, Whoops. but that and that's okay. That's that's pretty common that project files don't change. But it is what it Isn't is, right? Is that what we just heard about, like for the IGDA stuff? Yeah, like, you all your files need to match the names. 
Yeah, so we've been getting a lot of feedback from some of the judges from the uh, the independent games uh, festival, and this probably is is useful information for every festival. Is that the judges actually don't like it when your 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 game is named something, but then the the executable file is something different. So it confuses them. They they are not, they're they're very simple people, <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want to confuse them and make them run away from scary things and things like uh, not using proper naming conventions. Like they're more they're more interested in grammar and naming than the game itself, which I joke, but actually naming convention is incredibly important. So we're gonna click on connect previous the game previously known as connect. Yeah, we're gonna change it. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. It's kind of it. It's the weird things in life that seem like they don't matter, but they really do matter. Um, because uh. Yeah, they do. Okay, so we're starting. This is the home screen. 45 second lag. I just timed it. Okay, so I will talk really slow. We're going to play each of these <laughs> games for about 20 minutes. Corinne's going to do her best. Corinne, whatever you see on screen, just give feedback on that. Okay. How about that? I don't, know, I don't know how else to do this. This is unfortunate. We need to find, for next semester, we're going to yeah. find some kind of system where you can see real time. I bet we could do it. Some kind of share screen situation. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I yeah, we definitely are going to need to do that for next semester. Yeah. Okay. So uh, because I think we're going to play them a lot more. Next yeah, we're going to be we're going to be doing heavy heavy Zoom uh, sessions. Okay, but first of all, um, the the splash screen is that temporary? Yeah, it's temporary. Okay, because you I'll have. Our no. checkers is working on the main menu. Okay. And uh, post menu. So if you're coming soon. <laughs> yeah, you have such a beautiful game. This does not do it justice at all. Like this, <laughs> this, this doesn't read what I'm about to open up and see. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna. Don't worry. Okay. That, that, that is very amazing. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so we're gonna hit new game here. We've loaded up 100%. Okay, here we go. Have you slept, Ironhead? So we have some sound coming in. Okay, so have you slept? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk through what I'm doing here. Have you slept, Ironhead? I don't see anywhere for me to actually hit. It says development console at the bottom. I think this is some kind of developer's debugging system. Open log fire, clear and close. I'm just gonna click. Okay, so clicking moves you forward. So one thing you could do is add like somewhere to click, even though it doesn't matter where they click, or click to continue, something like that. Uh, my formal name is zero one. Stop calling me Ironhead, please. Zero one said that, by the way. Fine, fine, fine. Ironhead says Lior. Lior is our main character. How many short circuits did you fix today? So he seems to be the boss. Four hundred and seventy-two says zero one. Then open, then open circuit? Question mark. Twelve eighty-seven. That is confusing to me. I. Uh, I'm interested to see what Corinne says. We're gonna let the lag play out. <laughs> I'm on the have you slept iron head. Okay, let's let the lag, let's. I, I know this is fussy, but I'm weirded out by the fonts being different. It is, it is a little weird. I hear that throws people off a lot. Zero one. Is, so is he just a? So you don't have to answer this, developers. But I'm. But since it just says zero one, I see the image of our main character. But then it's just zero one for the the NPC, and it it seems weird. Is he just a program? Does he not exist? So what about today or last month? Um. So zero one is our like yeah the old name of Karen. So um, we're now. Oh, so okay. We not uh. The yeah. Game, so. <laughs> okay. Have, uh, have it, have it, uh, there. Okay. Good. Okay. And so the short circuits and open circuits. Um, I don't quite understand what those are. So this, I think we kind of talked about this before about having the dialogue in some of the gameplay, but lots of lots of text. Which Corinne, Corinne's the expert on that. <laughs> it's just a little. Uh, you're using a. Um, what I would call jargon, meaning the people that are in the game would understand the what the 
what short circuits and open circuits are, but if you have not played the game, it doesn't make any sense. Um, so just, I feel like you might want to just have the opening be a puzzle, and then most of that would make a difference. I, I, I think you have to try that. Do you know what I mean? Um, like, your, your readers, because that's what they are right now, don't understand any of the words that you have here. I mean, they obviously understand some of the words, but they don't understand the, the, the technology that you're describing yeah. yet. Yet. So I think I... One thing I like in games, and you don't have to do this, but just an idea, is I actually like it when you don't tell me any context. You have me solve a simple puzzle with these two characters, and then you start in with the with the dialogue. Because yeah, that's, then, that's then, my advice. then I have context to to apply all of this to, and mm -hmm. it, it immediately gets the the player knowing what the gameplay is, and then it's like, oh, cool, there's some story elements to this. And then you and you do that. So it, it's pretty common for a lot of games to start in with the whole dialogue and backstory thing. Um, I don't know that it's the best way though. So. Well, I think for puzzle games, it's. I think you need to you need to catch the player into the mechanic, into the in, into the puzzles first. Yep. So, so here I mean, we go. We're gonna we're gonna push. Mean, I yeah. know. I appreciate the. Um, love of narrative <laughs> but you got to put it in the right place okay so Kier high-tech fixing robot has an excellent learning module I like it that you actually tell me he's a high-tech fixing robot so zero one couldn't fix much more such an iron head says Lior that has nothing to do with your proficiency our task surged if I remember correctly your prototype calculation module only has a 300T service life, of course, just makes sense. Theoretical life factor 305.44T. At this wear rate, how long do you think you can last? Calculating, low power, switching to hibernate mode. You will be scraped, formatted at that time. Switching to hibernate mode. Forget it. If you don't care at all, I just, I'm just too lazy to teach you how to speak again. Hello. Hello. Okay, so he went into hibernate mode. You consume too much electricity during the day, Iron Boy. So now he's Iron Boy instead of Iron Head. Whatever. At least we can hold hold for half a year. That's good. Six months. That's not bad. Good night. Okay. So lots of dialogue. I'm not sure it like adds to this. But you have such a cool puzzle game. It's kind of distracting me from it. It's kind of two separate things. Okay, Leor says. Good morning, Ironhead. You fell asleep as quickly as last night. You could just start with this, honestly. Good morning, Ironhead. You fell asleep quickly last night. Right? That is so understandable for the non-engineer. And then we get to learn who Ironhead is. Wait, why I lost it? Why did I lose my next connection to the base? Ironhead, are you still able to connect to the base? Ironhead! Ironhead! 0101. So we don't know what 01 is, but... Zero one, say something. No way, he disappeared. And why is it so dark in the base? Luckily, my emerging light still works. I could find zero one first. So I think I think using the two names zero one and Ironhead, you you had that banter before about how don't call me Ironhead. I think honestly, you could just stick to Ironhead, and then later he could say don't call me Ironhead. I'm I'm zero one. But it's confused. I think you should just start with that, honestly, and 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 trim that down a little bit, because this is perfect. Because you know he was talking to somebody, he was looking for somebody, and that person has disappeared, and it's dark in the base, and he had to turn on his light. That, uh, Corinne, what do you think? Is that? Yeah, I I think that it's starting in the wrong place. I definitely think it's starting in the wrong place. Okay. But I also, I mean, sometimes you just have to write all this stuff out to actually know that. So there's, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just right. Um, but you want to get your, um, player in quickly. Right. No, no, I a hundred percent. It's always good to, that's why you just write everything down. Yeah. So you then decide what you want to keep and what you don't. Yeah. It's always better to go big and then re rein it in. So I'm wandering around. I found this little computer. I'm going to hit E to interact the lightning hub module produced by the company and sold well during the blackout. Okay. 
Oof. At least I can see the hall clearly after repairing it. Okay, so this okay, so this is my first puzzle. I'm so excited to have a puzzle. I wish there was more audio in that puzzle, some kind of like boo doo 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 doo. I don't know, anything. Um, so now this is gonna teach me how to solve that puzzle. So you can even ha have some kind of dialogue up here telling the player what to do. Like, oh, I've got to connect the 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 positive and negative power poles, you know? How how easy. Yeah. or something do you guys understand what we mean about the the narrative though i yeah 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 <clears throat> we're considering about that so yeah maybe um maybe delay something at the beginning and uh like change the like the order of the dialogue maybe yeah so you don't you don't have a lot of time at this point like ideally i would love it if after he solved that he was like yay took his arms up had a little effect a little music kickoff uh, stinger yeah. would help. So you could do the music and the the particle effect thing. I think right now to kind of play like, hey, you were successful, but man, this character is so cute. It really needs something like that. Okay, so I'm trying to remember how to do these. This so is day job, Gabe, like a big party after you do your day job thing doesn't seem right. Oh, um, it was mostly for me, but yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> okay, so like, we're we need our narrative to hang together. This is great. Or he could just like complain about it then. Who put these circuits in the wrong place? Zero one is always putting these things in the wrong spot. So this seems like I have more than enough to solve it. I'm not sure. Oh, this is the one I got stuck on last time, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this time we have, a, uh, you can press FE to escape this level if you can't solve it. <laughs> if I'm not good enough, I hear you. <laughs> I am good enough though. We are going to figure it out. Okay. I remember now. We're good enough. We're smart enough. There. Take that. Don't have to skip it. Yes! Yes! What happened here? Even worse, <laughs> the blackout. Learned. This is good. <laughs> Tier 1, your assistance now. Report your location. Wait, what happened? Oh, I accidentally hit R. <gasps> Wait, I just accidentally read. Okay, what do you push to move forward then and skip it? What, what? Uh, I thought it's F1. How do you start over? F1? Yeah. Okay, it was F1. Uh, Moodkip, welcome to the chat. Uh, somebody, actually, this is helpful. Somebody in the chat just asked for your razor pitch. Uh. So let me do it now, maybe. Do it. Okay. <laughs> do you know what it is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Rekindle is a 3D person, uh, is a 3D third person puzzle game which players need to connect bubbles to both positive and negative electrons by pushing conductor boxes. There's uh, other some boxes with different functions in each level, which that could either help you or solve the puzzle or block your circuits. Um, also, the game provide a uh, immersive experience as the plot move forward. Player could like uh, generally know what happened in this empty city and the truth of the black cup. So it's time to find a way we can the bubbles and light up the city. That is a long razor. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm interested, but it's long. You you, you probably do need that elevator pitch thing. Making yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, I want to uh, uh, mention that we are setting up our Steam page now, so uh, our game is uh, coming. Great. Oh, that's awesome. So when's the release date? Uh, April 20, uh, 20th. Uh, awesome. The lunch day, I believe. Okay, oh, so 20. we're, yeah. So is it is the Steam page live? Can we see it or is it, um, uh, still being worked on? Not, not ready yet. Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, let me, so add it, it. yeah, let me help you with some of the, um, English in the dialogue when you decide how much dialogue you want there are, there's actually just some uh typos and stuff and i can i'm happy to help you with that yeah yeah definitely okay like commas oh. and capital letters and weird places and stuff so 
you want to make sure that that's tight before you publish. Right. So, so we're looking at this, the service, service bot icon just hopped up and that was really cool. Welcome to the power center. How can I help you today? So we're going to check that out. Where, where are you from? It should be connected. So there's, there is a, there is a lot of dialogue. It's because I think they really like dialogue games. I like it too. I like it too. I want it I want it to be tighter. I think I can I think I can help you guys with that. It's you know, it's like poetry, right? Every word needs to matter and there's a lot of extra words in here. Yeah. That's just editing. That's no big deal. Yeah, so looking at the time frame that you have to produce this game. Like if this was something you would go on, I have two two uh, pieces of advice. Uh, one of them is if you were if you were to keep working on this beyond the two weeks that we need uh, to have it published, um, I would try to find a way to um, yes tighten up the dialogue, but then find a way to integrate it more with the gameplay, with each setting. Like honestly, we just you just played that really great uh, intro, um, our tutorial puzzle which had three parts, which is awesome. You have an opportunity there to have a line of dialogue before that, a line of dialogue in between each of those, and a line of dialogue at the end before you come back to the service desk. You could have covered a whole bunch of backstory filler, letting the player know what was going on, and, and it wouldn't have felt very long to the player. Um, so that's kind of like the approach I would say if you were taking this down the road and working on it to try and speed things up. Uh, in, in this case, where we only have two weeks, I would almost like really say, do we need this piece of dialogue? Which ones are critical to, to help the player understand what's happening? And maybe just, you know, copy all of that dialogue onto a spreadsheet for later if you want to do that thing. But I would cut it down as much as possible uh, for this stuff, just to let the player know what they need to know and then move on. And then still try and interject a little bit of like cute, like character stuff in. But once again, Corinne is the expert on that. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm happy if you guys want to meet with me separately, you know, outside of class when you're awake and I'm still awake, um, we can talk through all of that stuff. So if that would be helpful for you, I don't know if, if you think that's helpful, but I. Um, that's definitely I, helpful. Yeah. I think there, I just I think it just needs some editing. That's, you know, we all need editing. Yeah, so right now I can I'm running around and I'm still talking to that. I think it's the power supply. It might be the center console. And so because and this is the thing, because I was talking to everybody, I have no idea what's happening now in the game. Uh, have you ever seen a robot that looks like me? Matching failed. Please read the it's center console. It's just so control. funny, Gabe, that we're talking about all this like ex outside of the actual game yeah. stuff. Because the game is solid. The game so. is the game is hot. It's rocking. You guys <laughs> have a freaking awesome game and I, um, I do feel like that a lot of the um text and stuff is just is kind of covering up how good the game is it's just getting in the way a little bit so yeah. we we let's work on it yeah because this was this was a lot of so here's the, here's the problem is you're going to get players like me who aren't as interested in the dialogue they're more interested in the gameplay mm -hmm. you're going to lose me um and i'm going to turn the game off you yeah it doesn't start a little bit faster. Yeah. And 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 it's unfortunate because this is the exact kind of game I love to play. I love the puzzles, I love solving them. I like quick little banter to like get me going to the next puzzle. And and already I'm like, okay, it looks like this is more dialogue than puzzle game. And so so think about who your target audience is, you're going to lose some of them because this is such a cool game. You guys have done such a good job. And so so this is the problem too, right? <laughs> and this actually will happen in industry all the time. Uh, where where the executives or the people reviewing your game will get stuck on on details that aren't actually your game, and so we just spent all this time talking about the intro dialogue, and we don't we now don't have enough time to get into the game, which is which is unfortunate. Well, as well, so well, we can play again. We could we could play on Thursday maybe. A hundred percent. Yeah, we I you know and I would actually love that um, because it's a work maybe day. Maybe that's what we should do, Gabe. Is just. From here on out, try to play every day if we can. I think that, you know, I think from what would benefit our students the most, that is 100% spot on. So we'll, we, we'll plan on playing everyone's game unless one of the teams really doesn't want us to, right? So even if, even if the team comes up and says, hey, nothing's really changed in our build, 
we can still play it again because look at look at this version how we play it the next time is going to be completely different and and so the next time corinne and i are probably just going to skip through the dialogue if it's still yeah. the same and just get back into the, the meat of the game right so very good job uh rekindled love the new name uh and mood kip thanks for stopping by i believe mood kip i'm not gonna dox you or anything but i think that i think that person is in sweden right now if i'm not mistaken Ooh right wow this is a truly international it is international that's it so it's one of our former alumni who is now at a studio in sweden what that's who i mm -hmm. think it is yep what that's it's awesome. i have a hard time keeping track of all the uh the <laughs> the twitch names but i'm pretty sure well, yeah, yep we guys, just if you we guys just... want my help just let me know yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll just set up. <laughs> uh, Josh just docked himself. Josh, thank you so much for stopping by. Hey, Josh. Uh, we're pretty excited, Josh, about these games from Paradox. So there you go. So, so this this is it. We do have, we do have a lot of. You may not even see a lot of the people in in chat, but believe me, there are actually a lot of game studios and and uh, yeah. people looking at these, and that's part of the reason we we like to have this public format as well. Is it's actually very helpful for people, for everybody to see the, the game pro progress. And anyone at a studio understands that this is yeah, right. game. <laughs> this is game development right here. It's, it's not the, the pretty exciting stuff. It's the, let's talk about a sentence for 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> so let's, let's continue on. So really good job. I think get we've some got, sleep, everybody. yeah, get some sleep. Great job. Rekind team rekindled. Um, I think, Kindle. No D. Rekindled? It's like the Amazon reader, right? Oh, it makes sense. It just clicked for me. It's the Kindle. It <laughs> and that's why there's the story in it. Yes. And we're going to work on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just makes sense. Okay. So in 10 minutes, everybody, we are going to be, I think, let's just do Hunt. Let's play Hunt next. Yeah. And okay. so uh, that's, we will that's mention Shadow Nest now. Sh oh my gosh, <laughs> Shadow Nest, you're going to be next. I don't think you're listening. I'm going to mention it in Slack uh, for anyone watching Moodkip uh, and anybody else. This is th these are the play sessions that uh, Karen and I do. So they're not going to be like jumping right into the next one, partly because our our brains aren't that quick. <laughs> But we and have we to take time. Biology breaks. <laughs> biology breaks, all that stuff. So yeah, Corinne, if you want to take a break for ten minutes, I'm going to be uh, getting their getting their stuff up, and I'll okay. just leave it online. So. Okay. We need, so t back in ten for Shadow Nest. Yep. All right, everybody. This is the fun part. Shadows Nest. It is 10. It is 10, isn't it? What happened? Oh, in 10. Did you, I thought it was at in 10, not yeah, at 10. I think I just, I think I just talked for 10 minutes longer than I wanted to. Yeah. In 10. Yeah. We, we definitely went longer than 20 minutes. Do you want me to time us? Uh, you know what? We could do that or I could put a timer up on the, I think that's what I'll do. Well, I'm here. So that's true. Yeah, let's let's time it next time. I think just let us know when we hit 20 and we can kind of wind it down. Okay, so Shadow's Nest at 1010, and I will get that up and running. Ooh, and we got a dismembered build. I'm pretty excited about that. Here, I am going to. Do we, do we want to actually just pick the um, order? So yeah, know. that would probably be easy. Do you want to do yeah, it? I can, since... I can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Teamwork makes Woo. the dream work. Okay, I'm, grab I'm grabbing the dismembered build. And then. Why do oh. we say that all of a sudden? Like, teamwork makes the dream work. Like, where did that come from? That's been around for forever. Is that a new thing? Is it? I don't know. It's like winner, winner, chicken dinner. I, all of a sudden, I'm hearing that all the time. <sighs> So winner, winner, chicken dinner just rhymes, but then they started giving out chicken dinners in Fortnite, right? Or is that PUBG? Yes. We, so that we might have had chicken dinners in WoW. 
Oh, I can't remember. It's been a while. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna do Shadow Nest at ten ten. But why don't we just go straight into um, Evolve at ten thirty? Yep. Actually, it's called the Archon Project now. Oh, Josh just said what? Josh, wait, Josh, what are you talking about? Josh, talk. All you... Oh, he sent me a private message. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, that was me laughing like uh, like cackling. Sorry. So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him out. So Josh just said, please let me know if I'm talking too much on Twitch. Are you kidding me? Joshua, we're happy that you're here. Yes. Yeah, Josh, please, please give feedback on these games. That's part of the reason we're doing it on Twitch as well. We want the industry feedback. I'm just like making this up these times, by the way. Okay, so then we're going to do Relic Lantis at 10, 11. So that'll give us 20 minute, a 10 minute break there. <laughs> so we can yep. visit the facility. And then you know, we could just do the order of them and then we could let them know 10 minutes before in Slack oh, or I'm five minutes before. It in Slack, so. Okay, that sounds good. Let them know it's subject to change because, ooh, Shadow's Nest has, so, so Shadow's Nest, do I need to update it? Because it says Alpha 2. Is probably your best job. Yeah, I'll have to ask him. We'll ask him when they, when they get up. We're going to just have to power through, Gabe. We're going to be going until like one of them. Okay, we're powering through then. Okay, so so at 11.40, we'll do tethered. Okay, so we'll keep it in about 20 minutes so that we can actually get through them. 15, you know, maybe we should maybe we should just play, play, play and talk. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we'll do this again on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, we should. And my computer is having issues. Great. Love it. Okay. If you're trying to chat with me on Slack, it's having a heart attack. So okay, that, I think we got everybody and now, so we should be done by noon. Okay. If we do the order that I put in. All right. Perfect. Okay. So shadows nest is coming up soon. Oh, we've got we've got some updates on uh, teamwork makes the dream work. Yes, <laughs> Pokemon Master Red ninety eight. Oh, I like the extra. I like the extra context to that. Yeah, but a vision becomes a nightmare when the leader has a big dream and a bad team. Wow, we never hear that part. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Where a good team has a bad leader. <laughs> but but whatevs. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so you know what? Why don't we just why don't we just jump into Shadow's Nest? Is anyone from Shadow's Nest here? I I don't know if we need that ten minutes between, but we, we need to catch up for some time. Well, I, do I don't not know see... if anyone from Shadow's Nest is here. Uh, yeah. Shadow Nest is here, though. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that, but but the problem is I'm really looking for somebody from Shadow's Nest. You're out of luck, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Shadow Nest. You can you can call me Connie if you need to, Gabe. Get that out. I can call you Connie. I mean, don't call me Connie. That's not my name either. Okay. All right, uh, Baxter 900. So, so does this need to update, or can I just like hit play? Bump. Josh, he's here now. But muted. Okay, I'm just gonna hit play and see what happens. We're on the clock. You should, you should just be able to hit play. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Okay, Shadow Nest. Uh, 
<laughs> do you want to give us the razor pitch as we kick this off? Yeah. Uh, so Shadowness is uh, an asymmetric multiplayer game. It's an atmosphere core. Um, essentially, we have a team of three humans uh, trying to escape this um, creepy uh, cult temple. And uh, then there's a monster that, uh, that lives in this subterranean temple. And uh, as the humans, you are in the monster's territory. So escape alive or uh, join the, the bones at the bottom of the temple. Um, and, uh, I do want to say what you're going to be playing today. Um, we actually have a totally different level. Um, which we just couldn't, uh, it's got some lighting issues that uh, the lights had have to be baked before it's playable. We didn't get to do that. So the level you're gonna be playing today is not intended to be the final level. Okay. Um, so we would prefer feedback more on the gameplay systems as opposed to the level design. Sure, sure, sure. I will do my best. I will do my best. Okay, so do I just, let's jump into it. Do I just hit play? Um, I'll yeah, I need to wait one moment because I'm having issues with Steam actually getting, uh, some, getting Steam to even turn on, and then I will send you an invite to join. Yeah, for anyone watching, this goes through, uh, and maybe Josh, you can explain this. The uh, the Steam Steam is it called Steam Play Steam Connect? What is this? It's it's called the Steam Relay. Is technically what it's called. Um, it's just the service that Steam provides that lets you essentially bounce your connection, bounce all of your. Um, connection through there to ignore port forwarding right it's, so it essentially uses does it use one pc as the host or is this different um it still uses what you still have to have something as the host but basically yeah. what it's doing uh, at its core is it's using what's called a relay which is one way to um ba where base basically what a relay is is that um you to worry about is that in order for um normally when you would i'm having connection issues sorry um normally when you would send, send um packets part of the connection through the internet you would um you would send to something that it has to go through a specific port however fire a port on the computer however firewalls will prevent that on the route on your router, so you have to set up a um, connection to poke a hole essentially in the firewall, which is called opening a port. However, we don't really want to ha have to ask people to, who want to play our game to go and mess with their firewall settings. So, what there uh, there's ways to get around that. The primary one is you essentially, or the one we're using is what's called a relay, where essentially you just send it to another all the data to another computer and then that computer essentially just any information sent to that is sent to the um destination computer right so it's literally just bouncing through it so is it's that is that different hold on so we have another uh i'm gonna quit here really quick and then i'll jump back in we have another uh, i'm just gonna jump into library community uh we have another game from the undergrad called studs so i think they're doing something similar so they can all play at the same time uh in this little dad game uh, i think it, what is it i'm going to click on it really quick um super totally ultimate dad showdown so they're doing something similar i'm wondering if they're using the relay it had a different name but they were actually able to get a whole bunch of uh uh promotion off of that tech the exact same tech you're talking about so steam is actually helping promote games that are using the relay or the the steam connect stuff so you should look into that because they got um so they just hit 10,000 downloads um because they were featured by steam for using the same technology you're talking about yeah we'll have to look into um look into that wow. which uh yeah so we might be playing i might be playing that one as well so that's a four-player game as well a little bit different tone than shadow nest uh <laughs> less survival and more like fighting other dads to get items at home depot kind of a situation <laughs> that's like my studs. It's called studs. Yeah. studs it's a lot like uh it looks a lot like uh fall guys 
I don't know if I should say that, but um, but it, but it does. All right, so I am just got an invite to play, so we're gonna do that. It's attempting to launch. Have the game open, which I think you do, still do, before you do it. Oh, I am noticing something that's gonna come, cause a bit, a bit of a problem. Um, you are still on the alpha two ver version of the um, yeah. branch, which might break things. Yeah, see, it's so. Should I quit then? Yeah, cl click, click, quit the game. Oh. Okay. That's what I was asking. Okay, so let's go to Shadowness. So what do I do? How do I re? So um, this this is just this is just because of the thing we had you do last time, and I forgot that you had done it. So right click on Shadow Nest in your library. Yep. And click properties. Okay. And then click betas. And then you have to have to select which beta you want to opt into. And okay. right now you have it on on um, alpha two. You want to set that to none. Done. And then update. Yep. And that should be relatively quick because it's not a shouldn't be a very big update. Sorry, I forgot that we had you do that last time. No, you're good. I do remember doing that. Okay, so now I'm gonna play. Yeah, see if we can send you another invite. Get another tasty invite. If I can find you on my Steam friend list. There we go. Um, did you get the invite? Uh, I don't see it. I will send you another invite then. There it is. Boom. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's not clicking. I'm going. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to do something really quick. All right. I realized my mouse without borders got turned on again. And so it, it's going to affect how I click on things. Turn off, turn off, apply. Okay, so that there, that should fix me. Okay, so yeah, do you want to send that invite again? Sure. Maybe, no, still not working. Hmm. Um. Okay. What exact, what's the exact issue that you're having? Uh, I, I, I just shift tabbed and hit play. I think it should be working now. Right. Yep. yep, you joined. I can see that there's now okay. four players in the lobby. So now what do I do? Do I click out of all this stuff? Yeah, so I... you can close the overlay and then choose okay. a role. We want you to be a human. So okay. Human. Got it. Okay. All right. And just checking really quickly that we have. And you can take over again, Cody. I'm starting the game. Yeah, so um, I won't do a lot of talking today, but we'll mainly just let you guys play. If you have direct questions, uh, happy to answer them. Um, but yeah, we're we're looking forward to once we get the uh, the updated level functioning properly, we'll send you guys a, a build then. Right. So this one's just darker. So this has that same issue where I look up and lights don't work. Is that? The, no, the lights should work in this one. Okay. I like if the footprints. If you run into the issue where the lights don't work, please tell us because um, we're pretty sure we fixed that on this one. Okay, so I'm trying to remember. So this says doors require two switches activated simultaneously to open. These these orange triangles I'm looking at, these cones, those are not the doors, right? I have to remember stuff. Okay, so E does pick up stuff. I can say that those are uh, placeholder. Um, we actually have a a lever asset that we put in um, the, the final level. Right. So I remember this level, and I remember that I'm safe when I'm up here, but there's still no visual indicator for that. Wait, so I thought I was safe up here. I'm not. The, this one is does not have safety on the altar. The other ones, the, the this is a different level. And we need to better indicate when you have safety and when you don't. I'm over here. I'm over 
here. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over here. Okay, where are you? You're I'm over, over here. I'm over here. Oh, I think I see you. So there's this blue indicator. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, there's another person. I'm no, wait. Here. No, that's not a person. That's the pill. Oh, there's this cool drop down here that I kind of want to fall yeah. down. So I did kill the other two players, so that's why they're screaming I'm over here repeatedly. <laughs> oh, and I'm just ignoring them. Yeah. Uh, I'm over somewhere. <laughs> uh, this is, so from the design standpoint, this is super creepy, all this drop down stuff, which is actually really cool. Um, I'm wondering what the payoff is for falling down these crevasses, but they're kind of fun to then travel back up. I need someone to say over here again, I think. I just picked up a cube. I'm not sure what it is. I'm over here. Yeah, Cody, can you answer, like, why are the humans here? I'm over here. Um, I'm over here. So, I'm essentially, over here. they're uh, I'm over a team here. of research scientists. Um, I'm over here. This, uh, the, the loose narrative is that um, there was a, a mining operation which uh, came upon this uh, ancient um, temple and crypt uh, and that things started happening so a research team was sent in uh and obviously when a monster is chasing you you say screw the research i'm getting out of here uh but they're like they because of the cave-in they like fell in and they're trapped so I it's see. kind of a you have to go down to get up kind of scenario. i like I it okay this reminds me a lot of a star trek episode a I good mean, episode not exactly there are no bad Star Trek episodes. What do you mean? Like Star Trek, like I'm which, original. like an original Star Trek? Yeah, with the Horta. Okay, so I always forget I can jump. So someone says I'm over here, but I can't see them. Whenever they do it, you should be able to see them through walls. Can you not? If you can't, yeah. that's a bug. So somebody do it again. I'm over here. Oh, okay, I can see him. Okay. I'm over here. I'm over here. Yeah. I'm yeah. So. Okay, I see you. I just have to find you. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> you can stop spamming it. <laughs> They're not gonna stop. Okay, so I'm glad I could make it from that platforming. Okay. Oh, there's one poor guy. When are we gonna have the? Uh... So is it E to revive him? What do I do to revive him? Yeah, you have to look at them and hold E for a few seconds. We need to add UI to show that you're reviving them still. It, or it, we might have that in the current build, but the, in okay. actually in the game, but it's not in this build. Okay, so it did revive. Okay, so it finally revived him. Another thing I want to say that we're excited to finally be getting in uh, is um, within the next week, we should actually have human models that are animated instead of uh, these floating cylinders. Um, it's been a long time coming, but we're excited to get that. I was going to say, I'm super excited for that. So here we have this, like, uh, obviously white boxed gate. So this to me indicates that this is important. Um, but I'm not sure how to adjust it or if that's where it came from. So these little mushrooms, can I collect these? So those are just decor, but it feels like I should collect them. They stand out so much from the rest of the environment. Yeah, definitely. So, so right. They should do something for you. So I can answer that a little bit. There is actually a mechanical reason those are there, and it's just not well conveyed. We really need to figure out a better way to convey it. Um, anywhere where those mushrooms are are places that the monster can't get to. So that's um, that was when designed the level. That was our design designer's indicator of that. So, so why can't why can't the monster get there? Because um, they're like bioluminescent or something. Yeah, I think that's the lower root. The lower reason. I'm um, working hard on this narrative for you guys. That like. <laughs> <laughs> so the mechanical yeah. reason is there's literally a wall and the monster can't even see through it, so it's a way to run to safety. Okay. So I wish I wish there was a way to convey that like to me as the player, so I could run in here and it's safe. Almost like if you wanted to just gamify it, right? And I use that word all the time. If like this little this little hole right here had like a little like semi-transparent illuminated little thing that kind of like i don't know what it was but to kind of convey that boop, that i'm safe inside there yeah, that's, um that's good feedback gabe and, and we actually are working on a, a 
catch-all interactive material that yeah. you can layer over interactive objects. Um, so that could definitely be a good thing. To yeah, because... Yeah, it seemed like before you mentioned there were some areas like I'm assuming this one to places other places where the where the the monster can't get you as well. So anytime you can really make that known. And the big thing is it's you're really doing that for the first time players. Right? So once you understand the game it might not be as needed, but you want to onboard people. You could just grow those mushrooms on the light panels. It yeah, might be a little bit more like oh, they could, this has got something to do with it. Yeah, they could be growing from the ceilings and all that stuff too. There, yeah. Yeah, think about where mushrooms grow. Like you have to, like it, it can't just be plopped down, right? You need to think about it. So water or something. Yeah. So you've got so already if you're just asking for feedback on this level, it's got a lot of fun. Um, interactive parts on it i like the huge variety of of uh navigating the area some of them you have those little those little um what are they called switchbacks and those little stuff through all those cave sections uh through here this little drop off into here i, I think it's all really stupid super fun stuff you mentioned the lighting pass i think that's really needed so that i can know where i'm going so even with the flashlight I guess I could turn it on all the way to really help me zip through this. Um, but I like to be, have an idea a little bit more of where I'm going. And I think that's the lighting thing, but it all seems super interesting to run around. The other thing to consider is like, I love these little hiding places. I want those moments where I can hide from the monster and see it going by. Yeah. I would actually love it if it like, you know what? I would actually love it if occasionally you got into this stuff and the mushrooms actually transfer their ability onto you for a little bit what if they make you invisible for a short amount of time when you go out so it's like okay i know i can hide in here the monster no can't new see. mechanics no mm -hmm. new mechanics we'll, we'll consider that a development continues beyond the semester <laughs> okay good advice still good advice you don't have to use it well you're gonna get that anyway i'm gonna keep spewing out ideas but like i want i want those risk and rewards for coming down and doing some of this stuff this moment yeah, right. of safety like I felt up there where I was reviving the character. I'm like, great. I'm going to sit here and revive him. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. And I know you're getting the meter up, but I'm just going to get killed as soon as I'm done. So yeah, I feel like collecting those eggs, which are part like they, it seems like to me that the monster would be madder about that. So why would you bother? Like there needs to be a real reason right. or else you need to, change what those yeah. are that you're collecting so no new mechanics right but what if what if for next development what if like when i grabbed one of those eggs it like put a little it made the monster really pissed at me and it had more control and i now needed to run and hide and get into these little hiding places <laughs> to make it back to the next position and it's kind of the team is doing that or or i don't know how this would work in this game but you know how like um like when you're playing keep away from other like little kids and as soon as someone gets close enough to you to grab that thing you're keeping away you throw it over his head to another player i think there may be some opportunities for some kind of relay action for the the players to help each other out that way i think that's kind of what it's missing right now yeah. and however you answer that it just needs to be done in the absolute simplest way maybe it's not the the like i say that the two month option that you would want but it's the two weeks like what what can we add to this to give that like intensity because yeah even right now i'm just in this room with a few other players i don't feel like we're a team yeah i do also want to note a little bit i did just discover this build seems to have a bug where where the monster is invisible i'm pretty sure we fixed that we fixed that since then but i've been going right in front of you guys and nobody has been reacting oh that's oh, wow. funny i see you on stream so i'm pretty sure i'm invisible oh i found a key though i'm kind of excited about was this always here okay what do i do with it though oh is that what to that big door mm -hmm. so these are these these are these hand holding moments i could grab the key run into here um and now like honestly Honestly, like that same effect you're using for the players to say I'm over here, do that to the door. <laughs> like help me know exactly where to go because I'm, listen, I'm dumb. You've got to help me out. Yeah. 
I don't know if it's properly set up on this level, but that is what the blue marker is supposed to be. Oh, that blue marker over there? That... I don't know if it's actually set up on this level, though. Okay, so there's a blue marker. I just don't know if that's it. Okay, good yeah. to know. We, we will play as much as you want us to, you know? But I, I think that the objects don't make sense yet. Okay. Will. No, I, no, they will. But yeah, they it's coming along. I think once you get the lighting pass and adjust some of this stuff, I would say when we play on Thursday, Shadow Nest, um, when we come in, I would love it if you, like, handheld, if you came in and said, okay, we're starting this game, and then said, Gabe, I'm going to paint a scenario for you. Here is what the three teammates are doing. Let's Let's create... Create me an artificial challenge. Like, let me know exactly what I'm supposed to uh, try to do. Okay. And, and I will play that way. And, and I will tell you if I don't understand it or not. But I think if we did kind of that method where it's like, let me paint a picture. Let me tell you, let me tell you what's fun about this and then do that. Mm -hmm. I think that will help me understand and give better feedback yeah. on whether that's coming. Right now, I'm just kind of tossed in this room with three other people. I don't really understand my objectives. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, I, the main fun of the game is interacting with the monster. Yeah, and um, not being able to see the monster kind of ruins that. So that that's a little hard to play test right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that sounds fun. So we'll play it again on Thursday, and then give me those scenarios. Okay. But you the, have to have a reason why we're interacting with the monster. Why we aren't just trying to exactly get to the door and get out. Well, because the monster's trying to kill you. That's that's the whole interaction <laughs> with the monster. The, the monster needs to kill to you. They're, they're trying to, to run away. Yeah. Ideally, they would never see the monster. But then so why? So if this is if that's the whole point of this, why would I take its eggs? It just gives you a score at the end. It's an, extri it's an extrinsic <laughs> it's reward. Cancer. Yeah, it's, it's an extrinsic. Yeah, extrinsic rewards. And that's no. and well, that's what we're going to work on on Thursday is yes. figuring, <laughs> figuring out how we can elevate that a little bit and make it. And so use that as a tool. Use that as a tool to make the make the avoidance of that monster and killing you more fun. So right. so we'll we'll use that as the salt and pepper and we'll we'll flavor it up if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. No, really good job. So it's really coming along. I think yep. like you said there's some there's some readability issues with the lighting. Like the sooner you can get that fixed the the, the more we can kind of really dive into it. But yeah, I want to see the monster. I want to I want you to walk me through like some scenarios where where your team has had a lot of fun and we can see how we can like recreate those with these pickups and this other stuff. I think there could be some audio cues and different things. When you pick up one of those things, the monster screams. There's a bunch of things you can do to like make exactly what you said, trying to avoid getting killed. Yes, that's fun. But giving me the audio visual feedback so that it's it it makes it feel more real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we are working on getting all of that implemented. Um, I'll be honest with you, it's doubtful you're going to see that on Thursday. That's um, okay. But, but it is all, you know, we're on track we have time. to get it done by, by the end of the project. Well, I mean, and we'll play yeah. if, you, if you're ready for us to play. If you don't, if you're not, then, yeah. you know. We'll, we'll right. almost definitely have something ready on Thursday. Yeah, okay. even even if it's the same thing, like I said, just walk me through, like, mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. just spoon feed me some thoughts to start with. And for Corinne and I, and and we'll just play it differently than we did today. Yeah. So we're we're at time. All yeah, right. Thank you. Thank you guys All right. Great job. Feedback. feedback was definitely very helpful. Thanks, guys. Looks good. It really does. Thank you. Yep. We're just yeah. nitpicking now, you know. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. our job. It's our job. Right. <laughs> what else would you want us to do? Tell you <laughs> knock knock jokes. I don't know any knock knock jokes. <laughs> All right, it's the Archon Project. Okay. Oh, yeah. So let's do this. Uh, who? Which game was next, Corinne? Archon Project. Arc oh, sweet. All right, I need to get in a my... completely arbitrary manner that I put them in. <laughs> In order. No, it's good. <laughs> will you will you mention them in the Slack? We are here. Yeah, Connor's here. No need to mention. Okay, awesome. <laughs> uh, by the way, while we're talking, um, I'm actually Moodkip. Are you still here? 
gosh, let's see here. It's actually going to mod him. <laughs> so when I get those like spammy little wannabe famous things, he can just auto ban him. <laughs> okay, so Archon Project. I wasn't even seeing that. Did you ban those people? No, my so so the PC that I stream from mm -hmm. is it's dying. Mm. So when I'm running OBS, like everything, I it has enough power to run that, but I what like. I'm having lags and issues and stuff. Why don't you come and get the computer that's in my office that's just sitting here? So I think I will do that. I'm going to do that soon. Okay, uh, here we go. You can make me a mod. I can get rid of them. Could do that. I will do that. We will. I'll Seems be very um, responsible with the power. See, so it should just be a slash mod. I haven't done this in a while. Make sure I'm spelling crinny right. C R I N N E Y, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see if this works. <sighs> it's usually, it's there. You are now moderator. You have the moderator privileges. You can ban, you can time out, you can do all that fun stuff. Hey, everybody watch out. Oh, you know what? And I'm going to hurry and fix something else too. All right, Archon, before we get started, I'm just turning off. I was so excited about Mouse Without Borders that I could control <laughs> all my PCs. And it's just causing problems. It is. Okay, there we go. Everyone flee for the hill. Yep, Krinny's gonna Krin's gonna come after you. Okay, so here we go. So our the Archon Project. Does anyone from Archon Project want to give a uh, razor, razor pitch? Yes. Yeah. So Archon Project, uh, you play as a little construction, a little robot, and your goal is to explore your environment destroying enemy robots, collecting their traits, and evolve your your creature to be as powerful as possible. I love it. I love it. We're excited to get started. Also, for anyone watching and Krinny as well, if you do exclamation mark EAE, it will give the link to all the student games in the chat. Okay, here we go. So uh, the real name, though, is Evolution Revolution. We talked. We talk. You got... Did you catch that previously? So apparently it... it we're hearing back from judges from like IGDA and different competitions that if the, the name of your game doesn't match the executables, they actually get, they get super upset. Really? And okay. yeah, they can't find them. And they then really it, uh, I actually tried to change that. And for some reason it has to be the project name. So, yep. yeah, but we're, we are planning to change them. Yeah. And I think that's why they stay that way for so long. I totally get it. Judges don't they're typically they're a lot many times they're not developers. Um, okay, so this, once again, this loading screen, I just freaking love it. It's adorable. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just going to jump right into the game here. I wonder... I like the wires that are wiggling. <laughs> the, let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll see if you're in the right one. Because I... Yeah, we... I wonder if you... Is it possible that you are playing an old build? Uh, it is possible. Let's go back. Yeah, because we updated the title scene, uh, and you should be in a tutorial. Okay. So let's take a look. So the Archon project, is it a RAR? So I've it got three. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's do the RAR instead. I've been I've been keeping them all, archiving them all in here for me for, for absolutely no reason. I should have kept <laughs> the build date on there. That's probably my bad. No, it's fine. So I've got the date added. So this one is three days newer. Okay, yeah. here we go. All right, new sp splash. It's still Evolution Revolution, but that's cool. Right. <laughs> you should hopefully see a, an accurate title here. There. You oh, go. and there's a little character out walking around in the front. Beautiful. 
All right, hmm. let's do this new game. That's looking hot. Congratulations on your construction and newly appointed sentience. Arch Corvus Huggate is excited for your existence and potential success. Please make him proud. Hmm, I like this better than the like wireframe. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love it. I so I've just been informed that I have new sentience. Oh, look at that! Look at that! The walk cycle is looking better. Oh, I'm. We listened. He's he listen. so freaking cute! Look at that! Oh, he's so cute! I can finally see him now. The lag caught up. <laughs> oh my gosh! You know, he's does still it, floaty. Why he's is he floaty? yeah. Well, he's, he's this happens a lot. He's he, excited, is what he okay, is. Okay, okay, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna fix that. They're gonna fix that. He is floating above the ground a little bit, so a lot of times, even having the feet just clip through slightly into the ground uh, is a way to kind of mitigate that Absolutely. and to make it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is so cute though. This is such a good start. Yeah, that's gonna be. Okay, so we we entered the portal. Like I need to turn up the sound of Twitch a little bit. So here, welcome to one bug that we weren't able to fix. Okay. You should so, see five different traits here to pick up. Oh, and there's but only one. Go ahead and interact with either any any of those little pedestals, uh, and okay. you, you, you'll get a voice line. Yeah. So if you walk over it, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So this just tells you the stuff. Okay, so this one didn't do anything. Right so, now it's set up to just give you one. Oh, okay. Um, oh, and I just got one. So, oh, I love that. Look at that little bite now, Corinne. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm assuming that might, and it's okay if it's not. It looks like a place folder like <laughs> effect, but yeah. that is awesome. I think place placeholders are a million times better than no. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's really cool. Um, Love his cute little jump. He's so cute. So another point of feedback, and this may be something you're planning on doing down the line, is maybe a text box for when the narrator's speaking, either up above or something. Just because that well, went went by kind of accessibility. Mm -hmm. But I kind of missed a little bit of it, and I love the voice though. Okay, we're let's do this. Talking about subtitles this morning. So. Nice. It can provide the resources required to evolve the animation's the very good. It's just these needs to have a little bit more weight. Mm -hmm. Got it. I like this building. It's fun. That's cute. So is that going to have... It's a really good tutorial space. I, I like it a lot. Yeah, is this still extremely blockout, or is this kind of like the... kind of This is midway through okay. blockout to finish. Yeah, I would, I would say you could add small little details like even some greebles or control panels on the wall i like this simple color scheme i like the solid color aesthetic uh, but but even just a little bit more to to make it feel more like a laboratory type thing i don't know if it's supposed to be broken down or what but all right so we have 50 dna points i love this little scene here 50 dna points uh these scrolling textures work really well like you don't even really you don't even realize it till I'm like looking at it for a second. Oh, it's two planes with the those scrolling hexagon textures, but it works really well. So you're still seeing an older build uh, here for the builder menu. Um, okay. We weren't able to get that into this build, the the new one, um, and because of the bug with the trait pickup, right now you don't have anything to equip. Uh, um, okay, but, I'll forgive you. But okay. once we get into gameplay, you will. If we have so, that. yeah. So let's look how much better that readability is of this by it, like. I know if I'm within that distance, yep. it's attack attack. Oh, I wanted to collect his paws. I wanted to break those boxes. <laughs> uh, this is cool though. This is cool. The fence, the fence is weird. I don't mind the fence. I don't know, it seems. I don't know. I, mean, I think that that's exactly what would be up there, and I. That's actually one of the reasons why I like the the clean hallway like i don't i wouldn't put a ton of extra maybe lights or something but yeah I don't need a ton of stuff. but it, but the fence is on this one but it's not on any of the other ones i don't know i'm just saying i'm not sure i'm not sure about it you take take that feedback for what it's worth it's not a huge thing i'm writing down feedback corinne likes fence gabe hates fence. <laughs> i don't hate it it so just doesn't feel is that? it doesn't it doesn't feel right okay I've got 100 DNA points, but I can't do anything yet, right? Wait, so did you just fall down? What happened? I got confused. I went 
So should there have been something to fight in there or something? We will finish up the tutorial. There's a couple more things to add in there. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Ugh. I hate that. I hate that. I, ugh, the, uh, are you guys going to change that? It just the take, wormhole? Yeah. It's uh, instead of a loading screen. So we it can't. It doesn't look, it's the art style's not right. So Sorry. this is cool. I like, I like that you have like this, uh, this force field and I can see all these creepy monsters mm. and they're red and I'm blue which means we're automatically enemies um, so let's see yeah I think it conveys so much visually it's great now you guys gotta fix that wormhole thing I hate it writing it, down Corinne hates wormholes I, it just it. does not match how um, smooth the rest of your art is it doesn't it just doesn't look right so, I mean, it'd be fine yeah. if it was like everything was kind of like clunky and, you know, like wires were out and stuff, but that's not what this is. So th this is the pro. You guys are going to get a lot of nitpicky critique from us. This, <laughs> this, this monitor does not make sense. It looks like a human monitor. Like it looks like a table. It's got the table legs. It's kind of weird. It's not really shaped for my monster. I don't know. I almost feel like... This should maybe it could have like a screen on it, but maybe it just something that I could step on and depress, like kind of like we. Paw pad. Yeah, something. Yeah, paw pad, or even four paw prints mm -hmm. on like a, a pressure plate that I would yeah. step on, and deactivate it, and then you could have like some lights blinking. I would simplify that, and maybe even even if it was just red and green lights, and the narrator said force field deactivated or something like to 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 dumb it down for animals. But once again, that's nitpicky. They are robots. Robits, whatever they are. But robots. they're talking to me. He's sentient. He just gained his new sentience. <laughs> anyway, I want to attack these guys. That's a really good point, Gabe. I wasn't even thinking about that. That's like the human sized desk thing. <laughs> well, I could imagine, like, maybe if I got up on my back legs and typed clicky, clacky, clacky, <laughs> force field. I love that. Okay, so what's the what's the um, missing name? Uh, health system gonna actually look like when you guys are done? Oh, uh, we are oh. in the process of changing that. Oh, these okay, are cool! So, look at so these what, ones; they're cute. Okay, go ahead. So what you just experienced was kind of the new loop, which is every little hex has two things to find. I was seeing if you could find it on your own, and you did. One is that mid hex builder. So uh -huh. the idea is you'll go through, kill some stuff, and then you can upgrade your character right there. So yeah, I see you just got another drop. You also find another one of those terminals, uh -huh. monitor, and that unlocks the force field so you can go on to the next hex. We'll explain this better with that. To, we're hoping to use that last little area of the tutorial to walk the player through that right. kind of loop. Yep, and I love that you have like a, a set camera movement for each one of those. You just have to make sure they're in the right position so that it doesn't Oh, but are the trees and stuff procedural when wow, they pop that in? Looks good. The they are not. Um, yeah, so that's that's on our list as well as to try okay. to fix that angle. Okay. Yeah, and that's minor stuff, but it's nice that you've created that system that it will keep doing that. That's awesome. The fountain thing is cool. <laughs> these guys, I love them. They're like these wolves. They look dangerous, but. Oh, oh, they are! Yeah, these, Dang these it! These ones are pretty feisty. That is like, awesome. We also have kind of a procedurally kind of randomized enemy encounter. So wait, if wait, noticed, wait, wait! Every time you load different stuff, they're like Doberman pinchers. Yep. Yeah. I felt like I just jumped into it and attacked. I am Night Fury. It I felt like really that. cool. That's what, exactly the problem. Is I'm seeing the mesh. Yep, anyway. that's what I actually noted was Night mm -hmm. Fury's comment. It's a great idea. Did you pick up that thing that was floating? Oh, I like the dash so much. So, so the thing to think about too is like, apparently I did, I completed the task you were hoping I would. I didn't really know that I did it. Hmm. Oh, here's another one of those. Okay. <laughs> so those are little health pickups. Those will add some health to you. Okay. So here's another computer desk up here. It feels, like I said, it, it feels totally out of place. So if you make I mean, that more. Maybe the humans are just missing. And this has gone like evolution happens, whether there's 
people there or not. I, even, so lore wise, it's even it would be better to have some terminal that can be interacted with the robot because yeah. you are a sentient robot interacting this with the right. environment. Yeah. So yeah, that's a great point. So if you have the pause out there, but but then I so this is me like in my own little bubble from the games I've worked on too, is mm -hmm. this this force field activator is just viewable from one side too. So what you can do is have whatever activates that on a billboard so it's always facing the player. And and it, you can make it more universal for to place anywhere. And I like the idea of almost a 360 degree type of interaction to it. But I, I would play around with the design of that. And and maybe that's not even something you do this this i would put that on a sure. wish list a wish okay. list of things because it's not critical right the game's not broken because of it it still works that's just me being nitpicky and those little juicy things that i think would help the readability of the game as a whole this is an awesome spot right here where i can just kind of get the lay of the land yep i love that oh so I i've got verticality it makes such a big difference yeah and it i'm that health thing when you don't yeah. need to write. And I'm excited. I'm excited for when I finally grow my little wings where I can glide off these mm -hmm. and collect things in the air on my way down. I'm telling you, rip off Breath of the Wild as much as you can. Yeah, we, <laughs> we literally talked about adding a mechanic where you jump super high, just like in Breath of the Wild. Jump super high and then glide. Like, imagine exactly. this. Okay, yep. see those? See these enemies down here? Oh, imagine I can just glide towards them and then do this like big paw swipe Ooh. at them. Slam attack from above. Yes. Yeah. Even a slam attack, but those little wolves were awesome, how they kind of shot into you yeah. with those yeah. speed. Like, if I could inherit that, I would feel super awesome. Oh, but instead, instead, I just kind of jump off, which is cool. By the way, Sabrina, I really like your, um, your name in the Twitch chat. <laughs> Collecting more goodies. How is uh, combat feeling as far as like their health, your health, your strength? Does it feel pretty good? Um, it feels good in that I'm able to just run in and kill them. It doesn't feel like I should be able to do that. Like these little whoopee tail guys. So I, so once again, for now it's fine. But if I were to like play with this in the future, I, I would take those characters from the combat situation and have them do a couple swipes and then a tail spin swipe swipe tailspin so i can start reading patterns that they're gonna do and then i feel smart enough to evade those combat things like okay he's doing this he's starting his swipe cycle mm -hmm. now i know i can run in and get a swipe and then take a step back before the tail spins because the tail should be super powerful right yeah. and hurt me and so those are the kind of combat things in the future like once again from from one semester game though i would never expect that kind of stuff so yeah. as it is right now me just cycling through it and actually getting through the game i think it's fine right okay. i think you could add more damage to it but when i walk into five or six of them and they're all kind of spinning at the same time it it it, it feels like it could be much more right yeah one thing i've noticed is that you might not even see that your health <laughs> drops to almost a quarter during some fights oh does so it yeah, yeah, I'm not. I, I think we, we need to visually signify that better to show that you're actually kind of in danger because right. it doesn't always feel that way. Yeah, I'm not even paying attention. I should. I should, but that's it's the same way when I play. That's it's, the kind of player I am. Yeah. So now you're so if half. I could, we're a couple jump seconds out of the way. Head. I like how how quickly I. Oh no no maybe not. I'm looking at the wrong one. My health is up top. How long does it take? Way to, too much stuff in the air. How long does it take to recoup my health? Dust okay. is a little too strong. Yeah. Got you. I mean, I think I'm in trouble. That guy. Okay. Smaller. I don't want to die. Okay. <laughs> We're going to run away for a little bit. Run away. Run I mean, away. It's actually kind of nice to see you getting your health down because it was, I feel like you're very OP. No. Okay. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. Oh, so I got that battery. Battery was health, right? Yes. Yeah. And these are the things. Oh, the, the, <laughs> these are the things <laughs> <Right>. that. <laughs> These are the things, like if you were going to go on and really polish this up, you know, that health would shoot up towards your health bar up there and fill it up. And it's those those little visual cues that like, that, I mean, that's the difference between polish and uh, prototypes, right? Is it's really not the crucial stuff. It's just a lot. Polishing is a lot of the non-crucial stuff um, and making it feel just as good as possible. But this this is really cool. I want to hear the, I want to hear the wind. How did I do that? Did you see me just zip towards this guy? Well, I just did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a little bug with the right, the right click swipe where if you've targeted someone recently, occasionally. Okay. Because it we felt, tried to fix that, but 
it felt awesome. So that needs to be yeah. like a tuned feature. into a feature. Yeah, I'm serious. Like maybe that's a pickup thing because if I could just jump here and then lock mm -hmm. onto him and then like, and maybe there's a cooldown. I can't do that very often. I don't know, but it felt really cool. Um, I need to go back to the dust. Yes. Talk about that for a sec. Yeah. Okay. It's the snap. Um, dust. Really problematic for robots and gears and things like that. <laughs> right. We so, originally. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. So this was per, if this was a thing. That oh was no! Created, no. Sorry. Why would they have created something that would gunk up the works? We originally thought of it as like a periodic thing that would actually impact your speed and maybe mm. even your health. That um, sounds awesome. Scope wise, we weren't able to kind of get that implemented perfectly. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's a great point. We liked the effect of it, but didn't actually Im like add the physical impact of it to the character. Yeah, I get that. I mean, I don't mind. Like I said, I like I think the particles are too big, but I then I started thinking about like, why is it there? So, Can we talk about yeah. This is a whole. This is a created space. So why would anybody have put that there? So it would have to be. It would have to be some doing something. Yeah. So I. So, so simple solution to that would be you would have dust robots that are specifically built to withstand that, and you would be at a. Oh, you you would, got a legendary. And Sorry. oh, good, awesome. So you would be at a. Oh. You would be at a disadvantage going in there and fighting, right? Uh, until you <laughs> defeat a few of them, and then you get that upgrade that yes. allows you to. Yes to have that you know anti-dusk that's exactly dusk what stuff. we had planned yeah, yeah having environmental effects that you can defend against after fighting in the environment yeah all that makes sense except it doesn't now yeah <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> um i my bigger complaint about the dust is i wanted like it to i wanted some simple dust audio and that is easy to fix right <laughs> so i zip back at him did you not pick up that legendary thing what is it he did not where is it? Where was it? Let's go back left. Is or, I'm, I'm so far behind you. I don't even know where you are right now. But it uh, was back over by the mountain that corner. Yeah. And then one thing oh. I've noticed is that you're got not, it. You're not drawn to those evolution stations. They're really hard to find. So that's something we're trying to improve. You okay. haven't really up, upgraded your character well in this environment, which is yeah. something we need to lead the player to better. And I thought I couldn't because things were broken, so I haven't been worrying about it. Because it, it, it works, it functions, just not on the tutorial. So. Okay, so I need to find an evolution station. Correct. Yeah. Which I'm trying to find it just to direct you. I th think it's toward those other side of the map of the grass map land. Oh, is that yeah. it's, that's it over there, I think. Okay, we're at 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I figured we were about out of time. Over. Let me see. Oh, see, I zip back towards that other guy. Oh, that's interesting. And he's just he's just moving. Okay. I like the idea of like the it, that is just a grazing creature. Wait, no, and then he gets pissed off. Oh, he shoots out of his butt. Okay. I kind of like the idea of like these like cows out grazing in the grass. They get mad. And they get pissed off at you, and they just are super OP. So this was wasn't this the station right here? Yep. You. Maybe. Uh, I think you died. I did die, but okay. So you need to kill the enemies around it to unlock the station. Oh, okay. Which again, is something we'll try to show the player. Yeah, right some there. sort of visual indicator that that's what's going to happen. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Well, really Great. cool update. Hopefully, the feedback was helpful. Yeah, we'd love to. We'll, we'd love to play it again on uh, Thursday. So. Whenever you're ready for us to. Yeah, continue. that would be great. Or even if you're not, we'll still play it. Yeah. <laughs> all okay. right. Very good. Thank very good. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. And I haven't been keeping up. Luckily, Corinne's keeping up on the chat. Uh, how much time do we have till the next one? Four minutes. Four minutes. That's enough time for a bio break. I know. I got to go too. <laughs> okay. okay. We're just going to mute the Zoom for a sec. I'll be right back. Be right back, my friends. Okay. I'll be right back.
Okay, who are we doing next? Let's see. Oh, Relic Lantis. I'm sure Gabe will be back any second. Oh, there he is. There's people in the building. It's weird. It's like I keep hearing them talk. I'm like, ugh. It's, it's, I'm not used to it anymore. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right. Let's do this. Holland, hi. Oh, okay. We update our build. Uh, is this dismembered? No. Uh, the Relic Lantis. Relic Lantis. Oh, Relic Lantis. So I need to grab a new one. Yeah, that'd be nice. If you can just download from the link, the link, the Dropbox you sent to us. Yes. So Relic Lantis is this one. It's a new one. <clears throat> yeah, we just replace it. So okay, we can do that. So I'm going to make sure that this one, Relic Lantis, let's delete this one then. All right. It's so weird. I get, you probably can't hear it, but there's people in the building. That is weird. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's nice, but it's also weird now. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, my friends, here we go. So how about the, uh, let's hear the razor pitch. Yeah. So, Rick Lantis, hold on, let me... Hard to say. <laughs> it's a little hard to say, by the way. No, just, uh, well, when people are re requiring something, like, I know. suddenly, <laughs> it's, uh, Well, I would like to point out working. that the folder is called Relic Lantis, and the game is called Relic Lantis. Yay! <laughs> you win. Okay. <laughs> Fuquan probably just changed it because <laughs> he heard us go. Oh, that's the new build we just got. Okay, Morella Calantis, start credit page quit. So title screen, what are you what do you have planned for the title screen here? So we actually got a box art. Um our artist is about to finish it. It's almost done. We're just making the title words. Yeah. We're gonna put in a 2D there. Let's see if it works well then if not we are planning to make a 3d like awesome evolve very cool okay let's get started <clears throat> so red atlantis is a uh, tower defense game where uh each piece of each piece you put down has consequences right yes so red atlantis is a tower defense game where you just place elemental towers and manage the island's weight to defend against incoming waves of enemies it's like your decisions matters, like how much weight you put on your island is a huge thing on, in this game. So can I give a suggestion for your title screen? This. This would be a great title screen with honestly take the health bars off of the characters mm -hmm. and just have them moving, but not ending the game. Maybe just repeat something over and over. It's kind of cool, mm -hmm. kind of fun to watch. But it, you can even move this off to the side a little bit, um, so it's not it, not direct centered uh, on the title screen. That way, you can put the text on the other side. Uh, it'd be pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like the game has already started. Like we're right into it. Yep. Um. Uh, so the UI in the center of the screen. I don't know why that happens there, but. That's kind of weird. Um, that's a weight, weight indicator we implemented. So uh -huh. if you hold some towers in your hand, you should say there's change on that. So the towers are coming along. So it's kind of weird to me that it just starts with the enemies moving. So in most, correct me if I'm wrong, most tower defense games, don't you start having a, some time to place first and then the waves start or is this different? Yeah, so we're expecting to have a start button where like you manually control the enemy waves. I mean, that's our backlog. So. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to hit restart. Oh, start again. Okay. 
So now I'm going to put down some stuff. Oh, and I heard this little sound. It kind of had a little bit of weight to it, I guess. Um, when does the, oh, that is the game starting. Someone's coming from over here. What the heck? Okay, we're going to put one of each kind. We're going to see what happens here. By the way, is a health bar of the tower readable to you? Um, oh, this one? Yep. It is. It's weird that it's right in the middle. I think you mentioned that. Our lag is down to about seven seconds. Oh, Actually, really? Yeah, crazy. Oh, no. Okay, so I sunk down. So some of my stuff isn't working now. So that's the health bar in my tower. I didn't think any of them made it up to my tower, though. Yeah, it's like a 3D piece around it. Yep. So we also have we also need to update the meshes for the power ups. Where now it's just a uh, white cube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I recommend you try out those elements. We have put all our VFX oh, in. I just. I oh okay. Whoa. All right. So that is to upgrade. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So it's weird that they pop right in front of obscure your vision. Yeah, that's tough. <clears throat> oh, so I just deleted one. Okay. So it's really coming along. I think I think there are readability issues. The sound is working really well with hearing it like raise and lower. Mm -hmm. The health bar on the enemies and everything. So a lot of it, the, the visual placement of all the stuff is very like distracting from the gameplay. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that you guys need to... The readability is a little rough. I think all the elements are good, but I just yeah. think that it's hard to see... Yeah, so like the, the health bar on the enemies could be shrunk down to like the size of the enemies. Like so much smaller. The restart and quit. Move move everything to the side. I almost feel like it seems like before, couldn't you like hold middle mouse or something and rotate the island? Or is oh, that yeah. not? So now you use WSAD to move around. And when you hold right mouse button, your WAS can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, okay. And your AD can rotate. I see. Yeah. Oh. And also, if you hold something in your hand, you can press C to cancel it. We write some hints on the upper right corner. Oh, and yeah. I wasn't even reading it. Okay, so I, I think... Because the stuff is so hard. It's like it's in your way. It's hard to see where you should be yeah. looking, which is really important for these. Yep. So yeah. I think the health bar, I don't know. I think either this is more like these and maybe a different color, uh, just right above this or below it or somewhere health bar like... I would adjust this health bar. It's it's just so in the way. I love it that I can move around now. And this is something I would never... I think this is fine for the two weeks. Don't change any yeah. of the movement here. But if this were a project that was going to continue to be revamped, I would take a whole new stab at how you move around this. Because really, there's no... I don't think there's a real reason to be able to move back and forward at all. Uh, from these, I think that you would have total control. And honestly, if this were a button and mouse, I would just have an arrow over here and an arrow over here that would rotate the island. So you'd have a yeah. fixed yeah. Uh, camera pointing at the center and you'd rotate it. And you could zoom in and out if you wanted to, I guess. But really, that's the main thing is just moving around it. Mm -hmm. I um, like the zoom a lot. I, I do, and I really like the shape language of the health, the island health bar. But it, yeah, it's all... In, a, in the way everything is kind of in the way of the yep. other things so it's hard to see but the yeah. problem with the zoom is you don't really zoom though you just pan yeah. over it you just move I over mean, it I but think if it's because but if the camera were focused tell. yeah if the camera were focused to the center of the island and yeah. ws moved in and out like that that would be awesome so you, if you hold the right mouse button and press w oh yeah you're absolutely right so that is what i want that is cool. Oh, okay, I like that. Yeah, but I think the zoom is actually pretty awesome. 
But then I think what you really need to do now, because this is cool, this changes the game up completely. Because um, <laughs> now I'm I'm right into it. What you really need to do is find ways to stop the gameplay. Oh, okay, and uh, right. uh, yep. allow me to strategize and adjust and tweak. Hey, thanks, sweetie. Mm -hmm. um, it's looking really cool. Okay, so so these little dudes, these little stinkers here, they're gonna come up and attack my tower, right? Yep. So. Gosh. Okay, we also had a button to just try out our effects. So if you press eight, number eight or nine, you can just generate some elements on the relic. So you can just get all kind of elements. Okay. And try out those elements on the different towers. That's uh, our one of our quick way to show off like what we got for our VFX. Okay. You say click eight? eight. Yeah, eight. It's should be on above keyboard U and I. That that eight. Is it? Yep. Yeah, there's a white cube on the relic. Oh, did I delete it? Okay. Uh, so if you Sorry. click on the white cube. Oh. I don't know what I did. Hold on. I think I I think I'm messing it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's grab the relic. Let's set it down. And then you were saying eight. It's on the relic. I don't see it. So there's a white box on the relic where you just generate it. On this one? Uh, relic, the, the center one. Oh, on the relic. Oh, yeah, sorry. The relic. Okay, so and what does that do? So that gives you power-ups. So, so I'm Relative. selecting the power-ups and it's not doing anything. But The lag. <laughs> Yeah, so it does give you power-ups and you click on the your bottom left, you see those five icons of elements. You oh. click on them, your okay. mouse cursor should change to Oops. another one which holds something in your hand and you place that on your tower. Okay. Yeah, you gotta figure out a way to let the player stop time for a minute because it's there's so many elements that you guys have in this, it's it's really hard to understand understand what you're doing so it's really you've made it first of all you made amazing progress and yeah. all the pieces are actually getting polished yeah. and they're in they're just not organized yeah uh the, it's just it's getting close it's kind of like shift. i think you guys have just played it too much you you're not seeing these little um distractions because we we can't because we can't see the cool things that you guys have added because we're just distracted by the the stuff oh, in the way my, and the, and the things my. are too big and the health bars and that's all that's all editing you know it's like I keep saying yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody needs an editor <laughs> so I just got my fire my fire element and it's, I'm trying to click on the ground here and it's not doing anything so you shall place that on the tower oh right? yeah you want to put that on the tower on one of these towers uh, um, on so you should place on tower and then put an element on it. Does that make sense? No. Yeah, it's like I think we don't even understand the words yet. Yeah, I see. No. So I so I do play tower defense games, but probably not enough <laughs> because <laughs> and so this this goes for all of the games that we played before today. Is mm -hmm. you've got to dummy proof this. Okay. You've got to make sure that that I know exactly what to do. Because right now you're reading through it like, no, you've got to put it on the tower. You've got to put it here. So the game should be telling me those things, right? Whether it's just like a little arrow, like hovering above it now, like put it on the tower, you know. Well, there definitely needs to be a, a tutorial, a very slow tutorial. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, hard. It's, yeah it's like, um, it's like this is as complicated as any game we've ever had. Yep. So... Yeah just that means you just have to go slower to train people you know so yeah, yeah. you're absolutely right we've tried lots of tower defense games and they yeah. all of them has a huge learning curves at yeah. the beginning yeah like, and i don't you teach players the whole system yeah i mean i don't think you even need enemies to be honest at first you know mm -hmm. i think you can yeah we're yeah 
dialogue system first, which I currently were just working on a tutorial that takes a lot more effort than yeah. I expected. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is a much bigger game than, you know. Yeah, this is a much bigger, you, bigger game than a one semester. A big game. <laughs> yeah, but but it's all it's all so close. I think I think what you do is make those lists. We'll play it again on Thursday, but make those lists of like the like kind of the how can we help the player items and get those. I I like the idea of that little tutorial where you don't even have enemies, where you just learn how to sink your island and how to remove and and put these down and remove it and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like that's the objective is make your island go down, make your island go up, and hey, you did it. Yeah. And how does that play into the rest of the gameplay? And then play around Just with like that. Just like with Connect or Rekindle, like the uh, you know our other puzzle game, you, you got you've got to be really really training your player for a while first, which is not very sexy when you're making games, right? Like you want it to be fun, but the but it as you are learning, remember that's how our brains actually define fun is learning. So those tutorial levels aren't throwaway there. You can, your player will think that it's fun. And there's some great feedback coming in from Dr. Hat and Blooming Sniper in the chat as well. That's the beauty of Twitch too, is that like gamers love to talk about games and give feedback and it's super valuable. So this, this is awesome though. I'm I am blown away at how quickly this has come along. Get get all the UI out of the out of the middle of the screen though. Get those off to where they're a little bit not in the way get, and, get and play head, with that. Head working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give it a, a UI pass, but um it's really coming along. So we'll play it again on Thursday. Yep. Thanks. Yeah, really good job. Good job. Thank you. Excellent. Day. All right. Yeah, that this game is coming a long way. Mm -hmm. Super happy. Dismember. Oh, is it Dismember's turn? Mm -hmm. And then, and then tethered. And then, hello. Te we are here. Yay! Dismembered. I think I have your latest build. I hope. You should. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It should be uh, there. Is it point three? <clears throat> Four, I think. Okay, let me look in the let me look in the downloads. There he is. Uh, point I four. We got the, I think we got the enemy models in this week, but um, it's still not up to scale. It kind of looked like a big vulture without hair. Nice. So, just bear That's with us. <clears throat> so dismembered. Why don't you give us the razor pitch for all the uh, all the folks in the the Twitch that aren't familiar with your game? Gal, you want to take it away? All right. Uh, <laughs> no. This, <laughs> this member is a action game um, where you uh, we combine the combat of a uh, little bit of Dark Soul and Sekiro to make a roguelike um, action game where you can cut off your enemy's limbs. And then use those. All right. <clears throat> Let's cut off some enemy limbs then. Let's do this. <laughs> One second. Fix my dashboard here. Okay, here we go. Dismembered. Da 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 da. I'm Is dismembering that it. Doing tile work at your house. It sounded like a tile saw there for a sec. Are you talking to me? I don't know who is making that noise. I thought it was Gabe. Nope. I'm going to say the, the wind I'm gonna, outside. I'm going to say it again. I love this title screen. Yeah. I love the art. So the, it's kind of sad. This little start game, the quit, quit are pretty generic and compared to like this awesome art. And I know you talked about like new game and all this being down here. I kind of like it up. This is actually not a bad spot for it because of the, the, the triangular shape of the, the arm there kind of, makes you focus in your your eyes there but this this star game and the quits still feel very um just placed there they've had a complicated week yeah we already have artists that's working on uis and buttons yep so it should be uh, looking a lot better i'm not i'm not downplaying the crappy week you've had i just want you to know <laughs> like i totally feel you and i would just like the I, I would just like to say this team has been through a lot and I'm blown away at, at your perseverance and 
this is the kind of metal you build in the program where where things don't always work perfectly teams don't always work perfectly but you still get through it honestly those are the those are the interview stories you'll have uh when you go out into the into interview for companies and stuff that are worth their weight in gold yeah welcome to game development yeah nobody ever wants to hear like so tell us about something uh a difficult time you had on a team and you say oh no everything's always worked perfectly whenever I've worked on a game dev team <laughs> and they're going to be like, okay, come back when you have more experience. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Gonna hit start. All right. We are still little box man, which is cool. We have an enemy hanging out up here though. This big robot. And uh, I, that's the final enemy, right? And I love it. I love, I actually love the, uh, the contrast in the, the uh, dismembered parts. Like it's very readable now that you have like those the the two different tones of gray mm -hmm. to show what that they can come off and it looks freaking dangerous. So yeah, I would actually a really good decision there. Yeah, I, I would consider doing something similar on the main character as well. Make make those so arms is, stand out. So this is actually without texture yet. We have all our texture is already complete. We just haven't applied them in Unreal. We're working on that today. Right. So I would say do something similar with your textures, though, where you have those very contrasted. Um, I like it. it. Reads very well. Of okay. So I'm so I'm hovering over these. I can't remember. I'm supposed to use oh controller. Uh, I'm using pad. Yep. I was using pad. I'm switching to so controller. Left, left and right on the D pad is uh, which arm you want to attack. Okay. So I attach that one. Attach that one. Okay, so let me. Right. So that is there a jump? No jump. No, no, no jump. Okay, gotta remember that. There's a zip though. There's the Naruto run. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's one of those bad dudes. Look at that guy. Okay, so what did I do? I dropped my arm off. Dude, don't do that. Oh, I dropped that one off now. Okay. Okay, I gotta look at an attack again. Dismember and dash. Why? And B. <laughs> These bugs are cracking me up. So where where's the is it where's attack? Is it uh it's on the bumpers. Right oh. bumper for uh... it, not the bumpers, the triggers. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, the trigger. Okay. So this is my electric attack, which feels awesome. Now dismember. Dismember. I'm hitting Y. Oh, To fill up the meters. I'm trying to. So the electric grenade uh, is more like a slow field, so it doesn't do a ton of damage. If you push down on the D pad, though, it'll change it to the explosive grenade. <laughs> and cut an arm off, which is cool. Is that doing damage? Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. I cut an arm off or leg off. So I have to remember how to. Gabe, you completed the wave. Yes, I completed the wave. Okay, is this a shield? <laughs> yeah, uh, the okay. uh, block thing is the shield. The okay. Floor thing is the sword. So I feel like I'm still I'm still having that issue. Oh wait, what is he hovering on now? I love how he's still hobbling over. And what what is hanging down from him? Okay, so I feel like maybe this bomb that I'm using is an advanced. The grenade? Yeah. So I got, so the sword arm, there we go. I want to use a sword arm. Right? So that is, that is attached. It's just not. What is that disc? That's a hit, hit box. Okay, for the sword, perfect. So I'm assuming I need to follow the chevrons <laughs> that are leading me exactly where to go, and I'm ignoring them. Uh, this is feeling cool. This is still very block out, but it's really starting to feel like a world. And then, of course, we've got the uh, dismembered 2077. Is that? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that felt cool. Okay, so how do I switch? How do I target different parts of the body? Well, that's what the ovals are doing. 
you should be able to lock on and then use your right stick to select different. Wait, what is this one? What is this one? This looks epic. It's tickles. I, I, I feel bad that I don't actually understand these controls, but they seem super complicated still. But I don't oh, know. Oh, look how sad I am. Look how sad. Do you feel like they're so complicated? Uh, so they're, they're not complicated with proper tutorial. Um, okay. Um, so you've got to break down the the patterns a little bit. And this is just like a lot of the previous games we just played. A lot like the, the tower defense. Mm -hmm. So you, you've got everything going at once and then it's super complicated to learn. But yeah. if you, it is, it is blue wing sniper. It is strange. We only do innovative stuff at the university of Utah. Um, but so you've got the, the right triggers to actually attack and, and then switch it. It is weird that you push down on the D pad to, to switch your powers. And it looked like I dropped an arm. So there's a little bit of a disconnect, but I'm only a few seconds into playing it. And I know I played it before where I'm like, okay, my bread and butter right here are those right triggers. And I'm okay with that. Um, that feels good now to use those two different arms. Uh, so I don't know. I don't, I can't say that it's too complicated. I'm, I'm still going to double down that the whole why to dismember thing feels complicated. But at this point in the game, I'm not going to argue any of that anymore. So I think that it's fine. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Um, but, but it's, but I think, I think a little intro tutorial would help a lot. It's kind of weird. Like I feel like I'm OP though. Cause I can just run up and just spam this button. They don't feel like they're attacking me very well. Yeah, we're still um, doing updates on the AI to make the enemy um, uh, a little bit uh, more challenged to fight. And also, we're t we are um, increasing the gap um, between how okay. often you can attack. Um, just tweaking that to make combat um, feels more engaging. Challenging. Yeah, I think you could spend an entire uh, you could spend another entire semester tuning this combat <laughs> because combat is that complicated right so right now yeah. right now i'm trying different things i was just spamming that that grenade launcher but now it's like kind of fun to like leave a grenade and then run back what i really want to happen now when i do that is i really want him to be kind of quick in movement but then i do the grenade boom it kind of does a little quick back now maybe i can run in and hack with this this the sword and start working on those like um those techniques, right? So what you always want to have with your enemies is some kind of pattern that becomes recognizable over time for the player. And so, so like this evolution, a lot of the, like any kind of combat style game that we've played with the student games, that's, that's the evolution of the game that you want to get to, to really make it polished and deep. We don't have time to do that. So you've got to find those low hanging fruits really quick with that, whether it's just, you know, oh, you know what? I think we can get our engineers to actually indicate like when you hit it with a grenade, it'll pause the character for a second. And you can go and do some more stuff. See if there's something you can do with that to create some more depth so that the players start to find their own personal preference about how they like to, to complete the combat rather than having the designer say, well, there's one specific way you're supposed to do it. And so if that makes sense course um but it's it's really coming along i'm actually to the point now where these are almost like fodder enemies and to be honest it is fun just killing things mm -hmm. right so, like so they're not attacking me very well but i found the fun in it and so now i want to grind this out right i want to grind it out and see what happens with the next wave and the next wave and that kind of a thing so in that front you're already a success because it's it's just fun grinding and killing things but working on the actual challenges and that you have this really deep system for how you dismember and do all this stuff and it is a little bit complicated so you've got to unwrap that a little bit for the for the new players who will never get super advanced to the game and then keep it so that the, the advanced players can get really good at it, right? Got it. And this little sad little walk I do is hilarious. The little Charlie Brown walk. I know, it's funny. <laughs> so like I've got all these dudes here. How do I pick one off? 
dismember it so I can get the other ones. And now I'm just spamming. Yeah! Nope. Oh, I'm sad panda again. There we go. I think it looks really fun. Yeah, it's coming along. I'm actually These having a blast. I think that's really fun. Yeah. Well done, team dismembered! Yeah, good job. Uh, I'm having Thank a lot you. of fun. Yeah, keep 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 doing these play tests and finding those little things that someone's like, hey, this would make it really fun that aren't like super time consuming and just keep stacking those up as many as you can until the two weeks are over. But um, you've done a really you good job. Do you guys have questions for us? Sorry, Gabe. No, you're fine. Is there anything else you want us to look at? Not really. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think so. I, I, think, I think a lot of the things you guys said is, is super helpful and something that we've kind of been working on. Um, I'm sure. C kind of like you guys have said, we've been struggling just kind of getting stuff done. Um, yeah. But yeah, it, it's always good to just kind of be reassured by you guys um, yeah. that what we think our problems are indeed actually problems. Okay. Well, yeah, they're problems, but there is definitely, you can see that it's fun, that there's fun in there, which is you know, kind of the point, right? <laughs> yeah. So well done. Well done. Keep pushing on it. We'll play again on Thursday. Yeah. And just, yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm kind of excited to play all the games on Thursday after just yeah. playing them. So it's not like a yeah. fresh, a fresh play. Like we, we usually wait for the two weeks, but I think at this point in the game, yeah. we'll play, play I mean, more frequently. Semester, we mm -hmm. might as well. Yep. All right. Good job. Okay. Let's move on. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you. Dylan, you want to drop into the Discord? Um, real quick. <laughs> Okay. Yes, right. Dylan, go drop in the Discord. Hurry. So I did tell Tethered at 1140, so we have a little uh, time. Yeah, we we just pushed. If you check the, uh, since we were last, we're like, well, let's edit a thing or two. Oh, uh, gosh, and, don't do that. Well, no, no, we just edited, so if you press R, you don't restart the level again. Uh, oh, I see. We I see. have just taken that out. So. <laughs> nice. There. Okay, so we'll grab a new one. Is it up or is it yeah. still? Okay. No, it's up. It should have gone up at 1130. Great. Thanks, Nick. Okay. Just in time. Just in time. Okay, we'll grab it. Hey, Gabe, um, while you're doing that, um, AJ just created a EAE <clears throat> Cohort 11 launch channel. And he said, um, we want Archie to introduce the class and hand off to us to go to each game. Is that, I, is that, I don't think that's what we said. Is that what we said? Uh, no, but I'm okay with that. So, but it, then it's just me and you. Yeah, it'll give. It'll be fun. Just talking. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I just. I'm worried about your mental health on that day. It's gonna be. Oh, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be. be a, busy. It's gonna be a train wreck for sure. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, we can do it. Okay. I'm already doing it for capstone and everything else. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, I'm gonna turn off my mechanical keyboard. Noisy. Hold on. Let's see, was this just tethered? Let's paste it. Oh no, I, I don't want to replace it. Let's delete these tethereds. Okay. Oh no, you're not pasting anymore. Okay, let's get this again. I guess if it's easier for the next few that we send up, we could put like we did with the prior one, the date that we did it. That might yeah, be easier. The dates are nice. Um, that way, like I always keep the old ones there just to fall back on, mm -hmm. um, just to take up my hard drive space, <sighs> but it, but it is nice. And then they don't get mixed up. Okay. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I, the way I've been doing it since then is each of the builds I've just left on my, I don't usually have things on my desktop regardless, but I have all the builds on my desktop just in case. Right. And I think, okay, so maybe having the date to be easier because now there's just tethered or rewind parentheses one, two, three, four, and so. And look, and look, Corinne, the name is correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's all you have to they do. They can to, learn. That is all you have to do <laughs> to, did. that is all you have to do to win IGDA. It's just get your it's name all right. All you have to do to win our hearts. Is <laughs> <laughs> tethered. Is this going to change? I don't actually don't mind this whole. Oh, so. sans, sans serif block text, but oh, the big white. Uh, what we're doing now is we're setting up a, a camera in a, in a separate level to maybe show off uh, 
some of the things so it won't be just like a bright white text or right. bright white background it'll probably be a nice level in the background there perfect and then oh. you they might want to put like a white stroke around your text then or something yeah just your yeah, art absolutely is so good i i would hate to have you not showcase some of it probably. yeah i love that yeah, exactly that, that's a great idea okay so tethered what let's let's do the quick razor pitch Okay, uh, in Tethered, uh, you're playing as a, uh, a girl trying to find her girlfriend who's been trapped within this cave, uh, kind of, she went down first and you're trying to find her, so you're following her notes. Um, in Tethered, you are tethered to these anchor points that you can rewind yourself to, um, and your goal is to correct the, collect these relics to reach the end of the level to, to find your love at the end of the cave. Oh, uh, I love it. Okay, let's start. There's some issues with the narrative there, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, absolutely. There are, yeah, but. Oh, this looks really cool. I like the outline underneath the water. Um, yeah, you can even, even add some like little rocks and stones down there to give it like some depth, yeah. like that's the bottom of it. Our I artist who set this up, uh, the reason that it looks different is that, so we're supposed to be inside a cave. And so we're trying to add some of that, the emissive blue uh, is not the final uh, result of that. She was just tweaking with some of the uh, transparency of the water. And so okay. that emissive just kind of came from that. But um, this kind of darker toned atmosphere uh, is something that we're, we're looking to get this kind of tune shader. So is there ever a purpose to the jump? I know I've asked this before. Uh, no, we're going to take the, when you press space, we're going to take that little hop out. Uh, yeah. We left it in just in case it was going to mess up one of the um, areas where you jump, you have like a prompted jump to the uh, ledge climb. Yeah. But we were worried about that interaction. So okay. we're testing that to just take that out. Yeah. If, if the only time you ever use it is just for one ledge climb, I would change the ledge climb to make sure yeah. that you don't have to. Anyway, just a little feedback because it's, mm -hmm. Because it it's not it's more like a real jump is what you have there, <laughs> and so it's not super useful inside a cave. Like you're usually not doing a whole bunch of jumping inside caves, but I would I would just remember, you know in uncharted. Okay, so remember to yeah remember to attach the winches I've set up. You don't want to get stranded without. That's true. I don't I don't want to. So I already know how to do also this. Also, these so. notes. Uh, a big thing that we're working on this sprint <laughs> is getting that. Uh, Corinne mentioned the narrative. Uh, art. Uh, one of our producers and one of our artists are getting together to have a cohesive, not just me putting in text to the notes, but <laughs> I was going to say there's a little editing that could happen right there. So good. yeah, absolutely. No audio I'm noticing. Yeah, that, that is a big one for the sprint as that well. That makes um, me cry super salty tears because the game is so pretty and that, that I'm worried. I'm, I'm to be completely honest. I'm really worried that the audio won't get enough love. Uh, mm -hmm. in the next two weeks because it, you don't have any placeholder stuff in now to keep iterating on. So yeah. y use my worry and freak out a little bit about it and, and make sure you, you do that. Yeah, this is some audio. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is feeling really cool. This uh, level design with these uh, structures in front of you. Okay. So we're going to go grab that. The bloom on the tether feels really distracting a little more than it oh, used to. Uh, that yellow. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think the result of adding that shader has kind of emphasized that. Mm -hmm. But I'm digging that it's a light thing now. It's not an actual rope because mm -hmm. I think that makes more sense. You picked up a key, but what about the planks or the walls? Remember, you can reel yourself back in. Yes, I can. Let's do it. It's a great tutorial. So we do have audio for that. So that's good. We might have to change that audio. That audio is when we still had a rope, but uh, we may have to change that. To yeah, I would change more. it. It seemed it should be more digital. Have you guys? Did you play with the size of the tether points? Did you decide that you? Uh, to keep them big? Yeah, we, we tweaked. Um, we liked that they were like kind of that large, but I I think. Um, so here's changing color, the, right? The, yeah, the scaling of the height, the z-axis is a bit big. So we like the width of them because they seem sure. pretty sure. noticeable there. Mm -hmm. But definitely the z-axis is way too tall. Yeah. We really got to buy some longer nylon ropes, but they're not oh, ropes. No. I keep large. I keep forgetting to switch the anchors. I love it. Okay, here we go. It's not rope. Is it rope? You no. Fix no. That, Nick. 
we'll adjust. Yeah, we'll it. have to, like I said, all all the notes are subject to change. Okay. <laughs> well, she she does use a rope to pull things down, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some typos and. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's definitely fair. It's it's important to know because yeah. because well, we'll when play, when you're we'll play testing, you want us to, you know. So mm -hmm. when we're play testing, when we have other people kind of out outside the cohort play, because we've had one of our producers. Uh, you just made me snort with that one. <laughs> oh, no. What does TFW mean? That feeling when. Oh, so I love that. I love that she's writing these notes and she's using text speech yeah they, Interesting. they probably won't be in that nice aerial like block <laughs> font it might be actual writing instead uh, oh that'd be cool that'd be cool this is this these levels are really coming along if you're if your environment artists keep on pushing them like this like they're just they're getting better and better like i'm yeah. i'm so impressed like the juxtaposition of these polygonal like obvious pathing of the player and then the nice rounded organic shapes of the rock are really playing well together cool that's yeah. awesome yeah yeah will you if we play on thursday if you guys want us to play on thursday i'd love to talk a little bit more to archer about the that narrative stuff because it's mm -hmm. it's a little disjointed right now yeah i, I think sure us, that, but it's just yeah i think the switching of the rope to a magnetic tether type thing and the the leaving notes but the notes are actually text there's a lot of stuff there that we can work yeah. on to yeah. to, to mean? make it seem a bit more oh i see i mean you can Weak. just turn it into a a phone you know so it's yeah. actually text i like how you i like how you uh you had that that uh tether point pink mm -hmm. i'm assuming to indicate oh. that that's the next one i needed to go to Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you've walked by a tether point, it will highlight. And, and if you have attached to it, it'll be green. And when you haven't, it'll be red. Uh, that's oh, not, no. Okay. It's, that's not significant in, right. in any way other than you've gone by it. And these are the ones that you have gotten, per se. But yeah. Okay. Well, I thought it, I thought it was you guys saying, hey, dumb dummy, go attach to this one. But... Oh, no, you're going to get stuck. Prob oh. I know. I got out of it, didn't I? Oh, okay. One of the one of the big things we did since you played on <laughs> Sunday was there are no more um, relics you have to pick up for that moving platform to happen. Our engineer oh. was able to get that to to just happen as its own trigger volume. Okay, so I can't get back on it now. You can't. Oh, no, there we you go. Might, you, you should be able a little to the left near that. Yeah. I have. To, I probably need to make that um, that Box. left block uh, a bit larger. Yeah, either adjust that or something. Okay, so yeah. now. Awesome. I can do this one, which is fun. This is my favorite one. Boom. What? Awesome. You're going to like this bug. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. No, and I have to wait oh. to see what, what it is. <laughs> that is a funny bug. <laughs> so I'm, I'm worried if I try to untether or oh. something, it's going to mess up. Oh, I see. You're getting... Oh. I know why that happened. Uh, the the player got uh, hit on one of the collisions of one of the rocks that was brought in. Uh, okay, take the collision off the rock or move yeah, it over yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I almost made That's it back over. To, to tweak on. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I got out of it. I got out of it, but now I'm stuck over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Bad move, Billy. Oh, I got oh, it. Man. Yes. Oh, I'm the best. <laughs> it just took a little bit of perseverance. Does it nice. let you go through the watching on Twitch is, is, is tough because yeah, I there's a lag. Did go over. There's a lag. I made it finally. Okay, okay. here we go. Um, yeah, I, I, I know why that happens. It's some of the for a lot of these newer rocks that were added in. They have these simple collisions that are definitely not the size of the rock right. so we have to either just take out their collision completely or uh change it to something complex but it's looking so good
It is looking really good. Oh, I hit one of those, I think. Okay, so I'm trying to remember on this one. So I grab it and then, oops. Watch out for the spikes though. I survived though, so. Yeah, this is this is super fun. I love, uh, this is like a more casual game too, running through the story. So I don't understand. Sure. So this one, I don't understand why it connected to this one, other than I guess it's to get me to this one. Um, so some, yeah, sometimes it feels like the there's too many tethers. There's a lot mm -hmm. of tethers. Um, but I understand why there are, but I think, and I don't know if that's something that can really be addressed. But we could just we could make some of the radiuses um, for for some of these just be much larger. Um, yeah, uh, and but still limit it so you can't run the whole level through them. So that could get rid of the two that were just in that bottom left corner. Yeah, um, you might want to look into that. I mean, I feel like I have one note on these, but it's like, why would you be putting? Why would, whoever put these in this cave? Why would they be putting them in so frequently? Oh, the the tether places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the I can't figure out the wall jump. What am I doing wrong? Um, the, this this one uh, there was supposed to be some sort of note here, uh, but if you hold space, you climb up and then. So I'm holding um, space. There it goes. It, okay, that's the, one of the problems I had before. Yeah. And it's I think. And I, up arrow? Yeah. When I think I gave feedback before on the the wall climb is like, um, make sure the collision in front of it, so you can't go underneath the the wall grabs. Mm -hmm. is is will block the player and then you don't have to worry about them lining up on it okay so i'm gonna hold down so holding down works okay and then to hop off is a uh, space as well i don't know if that is that probably also has not popped up oh so i just realized yeah uh, i just realized i needed to oh i thought i needed to zip back up to the other one so that's confusing. So it seems like if I had to drop down there, okay, she can hop up that high. There we go. Oh, what? What? Okay, we're just going to do this. Yeah, I, think there's a, I think there's a lack of notes here to explain how to do these ledge climbs, which yeah. is pretty brand new. Yeah, I thought maybe there would be, you'd fall down one and then have to go up to it and tether back up to the other point and then crawl over it uh, would have been an option. Uh, cool. Was that it? Uh, so far, that's that's all we have. Uh, all right. I think uh, we might just keep those three and then just make yeah. it uh, maybe make a bit larger some of those levels. Like yeah. that last, you ledge climbed once and that was it. But there's yeah. more space to push back. Yeah. Some of that. And With... then at the end here, you're not going to return to the gym. You're right. gonna. We're working on cinematics to have the character slide down to to like a, a pond area or something like that. But yeah, I thought that was a great uh, play time play length. Um, I think, I mean, you could expand a little bit. We really don't have a ton of time though. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so I think just tuning what you have, just keep, honestly, I would just start adding in the audio, play testing, play testing, have your visual artists keep making it look more pretty, have those design meetings where you say, you know, what's the next little uh, polish that we can do without doing a big design changes at this point. I, because well, that, what was that, Corinne? That's about 15 minutes to play through, mm -hmm. um, having played through it before. Yeah, I mean, you, you knew what to do, so you were faster in those puzzles. So, mm -hmm. so a lot of For comments. When, uh, yeah, go we ahead. didn't have that third level in uh, when we, we were able to do kind of out of class play testing, but the play time was, I think the longest play time was like 35 minutes. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So I think you've got plenty, and it's beautiful. And I would say, I would say, because any any new levels or any time you do is going to take from polish time on the existing levels, yeah. and it's and I would I would just enjoy having this is the funnest part of game development is just polishing, making things, improving on it, mm -hmm. and saying okay, how can I make this read better? How can I make this sound better? How can I make this more visceral? And that's a lot of time is moving. Okay, let's try it with replacing these tethers. Then we'll play back as a team, see if it's better. They seem like tiny little things. But it's these tiny little things that are, are critical yeah, to your success. They, yeah, they just make the game feel mm -hmm. good. Yeah, it, it's 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 similar to 
to uh, that ledge climb back and forth that you had yep. was different about two sprints ago. You could go through the floor if you held down or S or W too long, Yeah. but we changed it. So we kind of foolproofed that and that yeah. section, which still feels janky, feels a lot nicer because yeah. you can't accidentally throw yourself into the world. So right. absolutely. And you can clean up those bugs and stuff, but. And I don't, I don't think that um, necessarily making it bigger uh, is gonna give you that much, but um, I see your point about that. I think it could make it feel more complete, you know, mm -hmm. just a little bit, uh, just even one more puzzle there. Yeah, at, at that end part maybe yep. to, to make it feel a bit more rewarding yeah. to get yeah. the, the last Definitely one, some but. sort of animation if pop, I mean, this is probably way over scoping, but like when you get to the door, some way of understanding that you're, it's a door, mm -hmm. it's, it's hard to see that it's a door. Because you just pop through it, you know. Yeah, absolutely. That uh, hopefully when we get that the we showed last sprint that we have an idea for a gate a mm -hmm. bit more or that kind of like, like a gate. doesn't look like a teleporter, but yeah, you remember that gate looking door. Yeah, I think will add a lot of uh, context to it not being a green block. Well, you know, I I feel like I only have one thing to say all the time. It's like why why would that stuff be there? Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't have to. I mean, it doesn't have to make sense, except it has to make sense in the world, you know? Yeah. So why are these tethers so big? Why are the, why are those doors green? Why are, you know, like where, if it's a cave, then there's not any, um, there's very little human stuff, but there's a ton of human stuff in yours. So you gotta kind of think through that. And it can yeah. it can just solve problems for you. It's like, oh, well, the founders that we are investigating there, blah, 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 you know, put this stuff in there. And yeah. You know. I think I think during the, the somewhere in the notes, because all the notes that I put in were practically here's how you do the yeah. thing, the yeah. next thing. Uh, when that does get shown off a bit better, yeah. uh, it it the idea is that. The person that you're trying to find has already been through the cave mm -hmm. uh, and you're trying to find her. Yes. But as you're going through the cave, the reason there's those pillars, there's some of that um, kind of, it looks like humans have been here before. The first tutorial looks like it's like the ruins of a of something. Mm -hmm. and that kind of like world narrative mm -hmm. is there, just hasn't been fleshed out to the player um, well, you very don't need literally. Yeah, you don't need a ton of it. You just yeah. need enough to, for it to like, oh, I see what I'm doing. Yeah. And I see why what I'm doing matters, you know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cool. Well, good job. It looks great. The, that tune shader is amazing. Yeah, looking really good. OK, well, awesome. Thank you, guys. Yep. All right. All right, everybody. Yeah, that some more. Yeah, Thursday. We'll come back and play them again on Thursday. We'll do the, we'll do the rounds again. And uh, anybody that wants us to.